Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for July 13th, 2021. Hey guys, I need to apologize. Um, you had two days without market preps, without any warning. Um, I apologize for that. On Friday of last week, I had no power due to a storm. And then Monday, I was traveling back after visiting my daughter for her birthday. So um, I apologize, I didn't get a chance to um, announce that. So we had quite the rally yesterday with lots of lots and lots of strength. New record highs being set in the Dow Spy QQQ. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so very much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. And once again, I do want to apologize that I didn't get in a chance to announce uh, that I was going to be gone with that power outage. Um, uh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can decide how we might want to approach today. And really, the news is going to be um, is going going to be the determiner for uh, this morning um, and today. First off, we're kicking off third quarter earnings, and we know we have PepsiCo has already reported this morning, and they reported a. Uh, blowout earnings report. Um, they're looking higher this morning on PepsiCo and we have yet to hear from JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs. We'll have to see how they perform this morning um, and we'll talk about some other earnings but we can certainly expect those will set off some fireworks for the market. Currently if we take a look um, markets are a little bit muted this morning as we wait. Um, European markets are also kind of in a wait and see uh, mood this morning so we'll see if we can push on through. So let's take a look here. First off, one of the things I need to point out is, um, you know, we did break through this resistance and that's been a challenging area for the chart. Now, the question that we have to answer is now that we push through, can we hold it or will we pull back? Earnings are probably going to tell us a lot about that, so watch this closely. Keep in mind we have this upside trend going on in this chart. There's lots and lots of bullishness. Um, the the excitement in this market is is truly amazing and there seems to be um, no prices too high that we aren't willing to pay pay for stocks but one of the things we have to remember as we head into earnings um, there is that question that everyone should have can companies produce enough in earnings results to support these current lofty prices it's yet to be seen so watch that closely and just make sure that you're being very very careful how you trade right now I've got to say diamonds very very bullish no reason to believe that this is ready to fall just that we have valuations very extended and we are in a bit of an overbought condition in the short term so it really is going to depend on how we react to these earnings reports um, whether or not we keep moving higher. Let's take a look at the SPY SPY. Also very, very bullish. There's just no question at all. The bulls are in control here. They have um, they have just dominated for so long here. It's truly remarkable. And we continue to extend um, these moves higher. One of the things I am getting more and more concerned about is just how far away we have extended um, the SPY from moving averages. Um, we, we certainly can do that, but that typically brings in some sellers um, here eventually. So far, with anticipation of earnings, it's just been buy everything, buy with both hands, and buy all the time. Um, that creates a bit of a, um, a um, well, a overbought condition that can create some pretty substantial moves, either up or down, I would, I would say, with the news that we have coming out. So just keep that in mind. We're kind of in, a, in an extended position, but there's nothing in this chart, at least at the moment, that says bearishness. So what I've been saying, and um, it's becoming very, very redundant, but I'm going to keep saying it, 
is stay with the current trend, but don't overtrade and don't become complacent because there will be a time, we all know this, there will be a time when this comes tumbling back down. So just make sure you're prepared for that possibility that you have a plan to protect your capital. Then let's take a look at the Qs, QQQs. Very, very strong. As a matter of fact, this is just um, remarkable um, in the fact that we have just almost gone, uh, I'm, it's a phenomenal rally um, to the upside. And there's just been little to no pullback um, in this move as we continue to set record highs. I wrote in the blog this morning that it's almost not newsworthy um, because we, um, we are so commonly setting new record highs this year that no one seems to care. In fact, it's almost a daily event in setting new record highs this year. And we continue to just push and push and push for those um, new high levels in the charts. And perhaps it's justified with all the money printing and everything out there. And perhaps companies will produce um, um, sufficient um, returns to support these current prices. But just remember, if they don't, it could be a painful pullback. So watch that closely and just don't be complacent. Stay with the trend to the upside. There's nothing in this chart, at least at this point, that suggests any bearishness at all. So stay with the trend until the trend ends. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM is the only index at this point that has just a little bit of a technical problem. And that technical problem is that we continue to move in this little downtrend here in the chart. But the good news is that we broke back above that 50-day moving average in quite a surge. One thing we do have to consider, though, is on IWM, we have those short-term moving, shorter-term moving averages pushing down, creating that little bit of a price squeeze point right in this area. So watch for that possibility. If, if IWM is the the first to break it could be the the chart that gives us that leadership to the downside if that were to occur however if it can hold up here in this support area it could also catch that energy from these earnings and pop right on through move up and that would be a very bullish pattern to push back up toward those resistance levels in the chart so watch that closely let's take a look at the VIX now that VIX you would think that as we set new record highs in the Diamond Spy and QQQ, that the VIX would be setting new lows. That's not the case here. We're continuing to hold um, above this little support area here in the chart, but we are below our 50-day moving average. These averages continue to climb, and we continue to stay underneath these downtrends. So we're in pretty good shape as far as that goes, but you would think that we would see um, VIX be a little bit lower, setting new record highs in three indexes then we see it right here. So there is that little bit of concern out there that everybody is worried about what happens here around these earnings events, and that's yet to be seen. So just keep a close eye on that. I don't think there's any major worry here, but we do have to remember just how quickly we can spike up on this fear if um, something stumbles along the way. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now this gives me a little bit of a concern and that is that we are elevated up here at a bearish reversal zone headed into those earnings events. Now that doesn't mean we can't go higher. Um, we certainly can and we have seen this market stay up here, relentlessly stay up here in that um, a bearish reversal zone. So keep in mind that this may not mean all that much. We may be able to push right on through and stay up in this area for a period of time. But we do also have to consider that if we were to stumble for any reason or uh, in this market that we have this pretty big downside opening that could open up here if we do um, find that reason to stumble if those bears uh, do come back around if those bulls uh, run out of a little bit of energy. So just watch that closely. And then let's take a look at our T2101. 
Now, I got to tell you guys, this continues to give me more and more concern um, as we continue to see um, our absolute market breadth continue to languish down here at the bottom as we set new record highs. That's just not a normal situation. And if we were to look at this at, on a comparison chart um, with the, let's put up the diamonds here. Let's put up the spy here and let's put, uh, or the cues and let's put up the spy. These are significant divergences away from that market breadth. And so that is a concern for me as we continue to stretch to the upside, but we can't seem to get that uh, market breadth to move along with it. The breadth seems very, very low considering um, how bullish this market is. So watch that carefully in case we happen to snap because if we do snap and what we have seen is on selling waves we've actually picked up breadth on the selling wave. So watch that closely just in case that were to occur. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar um, has something that we want to pay attention to this morning. I know everyone's focused on earnings, but we have that CPI number coming out at 8.30 this morning. Keep an eye on that. And it should be noted that we're actually, we're seeing uh, bonds rally a little bit this morning um, heading into these events. So we're seeing that stuff kind of push up here just a little bit um, this morning, which might um, also provide just a little bit of pause to the market. Keep in mind as we move through the week, uh, well, we've got treasury statement here, but I don't think anybody cares about that. We just don't care about debt anymore. Um, we have, um, throughout this week, uh, keep in mind that we've got Powell speaking tomorrow. So that could be interesting for the market and uh, PPI coming up on Wednesday morning. So just keep that in mind as you plan forward. Notice that Powell will be also speaking here on Thursday. Let's um, take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar today, we've got 12 companies reporting earnings today. Um, and the majority of those are um, verified reports. So let's take a look at some of these notables this morning. Um, I've already mentioned PepsiCo. Um, PepsiCo reported this morning, crushed estimates, guided forward, um, seeing a return in demand in food source providers and things like that. So PepsiCo looking good here, showing lots of strength. We have ConAgra reporting today. Now they missed apparently um, and disappointed the market and you can see a pretty ugly uh, move going on here in ConAgra. So watch that one. We have Fastenal. Fastenal apparently has disappointed this morning as well, pushing back down from that high. Uh, Fastenal, um, obviously very, very important in that building industry. And we know building and construction starting to pull back a little bit just because of those really high prices. And we're seeing sales starting to slow down a little bit as well. As you guys know, we're waiting on Goldman Sachs. Goldman will be reporting this morning. We'll be hearing from JP Morgan this morning. Um, those could be very influential reports, could really move the market. So watch that closely and KRUS KRUS will be reporting today keep a close eye on that you know one of the things guys I want to mention here during this while I'm talking about earnings um, we're going to, going to hit some days with um, a lot of reports coming and with our current prices being pushed up so much, one of the things we have to consider and we have to plan for is that possibility that if we were to stumble in any way that we could have a big gap down at the morning open. So keep that in mind as you're planning forward, just think about where those big gaps could occur around all of these earnings events and just realize that um, if you're over trading in here, we could um, really experience some damage to our account. So be really, really careful. Um, um, thinking about how these markets might gap over the next few days. And by the way, they could certainly just gap much, much higher as well. And for those of you that might be short or something, just make sure you're thinking about your planning in there carefully. 
um, on those positions. Let's take a look at our um, um, stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I hope, guys, you see these are a little bit different than what you might um, get as a general rule out there on social media or even in the news, mainstream news, with all, without all the hype, without all the drama. We really do try to take a look at the price action of the charts and avoid all of that and if you find that to be useful if you could please click that thumbs up button and also um, uh, leave a brief comment that helps um, the algorithm continue to show these videos to more folks and we can continue to grow the channel also uh, please feel free to share these videos out there on any of your social media feeds and that helps us also continue to reach out to more folks um, and hopefully give them some quality data to work with every single day. Also, um, I want to just a big shout out to those who have been taking advantage of the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all of your kind support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence in these trades. And I'll be honest guys, I have been I, I've been out of the loop here for a couple of days. So I'm not going to put a lot of um, emphasis on any of this just because um, I want to make sure I'm completely in tune with the market um, when I move forward. Um, with um, ideas for trading, but just kind of keep that in mind. So let's take a look at um, some of the sector um, ETFs. Take a look at the financial sector. Now, XLF, we know with these earnings coming out, we're up here testing that 50-day moving average. It's going to be really critical how some of these big banks report. Will we pop through? Now, if we can pop through up here and hold, that could set up some nice opportunities in those financials. But also keep in mind, if they happen to disappoint, this is a perfect setup for a potential failure to the downside. Notice that our short-term averages have already crossed down through. And though we've pushed up into that 50-day moving average, that 50-day moving average is starting to flatten and could possibly turn. So watch there. There is that possibility that this could be a short trade setup. Right way options, we had a nice profit in a short trade, but I'm glad we took it because we um, just completely reversed on that move back to the upside. So watch that carefully in here. Another place that you might want to be taking a look at is energy. Now, energy, um, everyone is expecting oil prices to, to continue to move up, but let's face the fact that energy is showing us a bit of a downtrend and we have dropped below that 50 day moving average here in the chart. So watch that carefully as we start hitting some of those energy earnings reports. That's going to be really critical. Can we push on through there or will we actually see some failure here? at those levels. We'll want to watch that pretty closely as we move forward. Take a look at stocks like DKNG. Now DKNG has been trying here to get moving for a little bit. If you take a look at my uh, drawings here on the chart, I've been kind of watching this price support area in here and I was really, I set an alert right in here. I was really hoping we would just consolidate right in here and then push on through. Not the case. So a little bit more complex in this move, but let's notice we're pushing back up toward that 50 day moving average if that can push through up here and hold we have that opportunity then to move on higher keep an eye on this chewy chewy has been very very bullish you can see my price alert here in that chart now we had that volatility that was created with that quick one day sell off and then we reverse back up but watch this in here um, chwi looking very good and notice that we have that really nice little uh, pattern where we Got that 50 day moving average trying to turn and roll back up. If we could cross back above that 200, um, that would certainly be very helpful here on Chewy. So keep a close eye on that. Peloton has been a pretty interesting chart and it is consolidated itself out here toward the trend. So watch this, we're holding right onto this 200 day moving average 
in here and we're holding in this trend we do have resistance above but if we can find that inspiration here watch for that potential to push on through to the upside um, a sector i'm going to just give you just a tiny bit of warning um, we've been talking about um, um, fslr fslr really nice looking chart FSLR received a downgrade today. So watch that carefully. It may rest or pull back in here um, into that trend. Notice that our trend is out here. So it wouldn't be all that surprising if we had to just rest a little bit in here before continuing on higher. But keep a close eye on that. Um, um, these solar stocks have been looking quite good overall. Take a look at um, Disney, my goodness, Disney had a huge day yesterday, breaking to the upside. Now, what I would suggest is not to chase this. That's a big, big move yesterday, breaking through that 50 and breaking that downtrend. But now any rest or pullback in here would set up that opportunity to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. If we can, um, if we can consolidate this move, rest a little bit, we could certainly see that move on through to the upside so watch that carefully so there's a few charts to look at um, i do apologize that i haven't uh, i'm just not going to point out stocks that i'm not prepared to to say much about so um, i hope um, everyone has a fantastic day of trading i want to wish you great success um, and i will see you all right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk to you all soon.